What's up guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Trevin Peterson, so if you are new, welcome. I hope you guys enjoy, and if you are enjoying, go down and hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, and like this video. It would help me out a ton because if you subscribe, I know that you guys are enjoying content like this and I will drop more. So right now I'm currently dropping weekly videos on how to grow your Amazon business, grow your Instagram account, how to make money online. So if you guys are interested in the new way of making money online, working smarter, not harder, then subscribe to the channel and enjoy. But in this particular video, I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of negative feedback on your Amazon seller store. So this is very important because if you get too many negative reviews and your feedback is bad, then your seller account is going to get shut down and we don't want that to happen because we need to make money online. So without further ado, let's dive into the video. All right, so let's get your negative reviews deleted and get your seller rating up to 100%, okay? So before we do that, we need to understand the difference between customer reviews and seller feedback, okay? So right here, we have the iPhone case and there are 1,500 customer reviews. So those are people that bought the product and left a review about this iPhone case, not about your customer service or the shipping or anything. It's just about the product. But what happens is people leave a negative review about the product on where it's supposed to be seller feedback. So about the customer support, about the shipping, about your store, not the actual product. So if that does happen, that is good because they left it in the wrong place. And if they left it in the wrong place, you can actually get that deleted. So it's super beneficial if you guys understand how you guys can get that deleted. And that's what I'm going to show you. So right here, the customer reviews, if someone does leave a negative feedback on your customer reviews, it's very difficult to get it deleted unless it's against Amazon's guidelines and it, there's vulgarity or it's not even related to the product or sometimes you can prove that it was your competition. Um, you can get it deleted, but it's very difficult, okay? So for this video, I'm going to show you how you can get your store's feedback up to 100%, okay? So right here we have 99% posit positive feedback and this is the actual storefront of ULAC cases. So this isn't talking about the product, this is talking about their actual store. So right here we're going to come down right here and it's going to look at the feedback that people have left. So as you guys can see, a four star item came chipped but was cute. So technically that is talking about the product and that should have, be, that should have been left underneath the product review, not the seller feedback, okay? So you could go and message Amazon and you could get that deleted. But since it's a four star, that's not terrible. But right here, a three star, not crazy about the stand part of the case. It does keep my iPad. So this is, as you guys can see, it's talking about the product. It's not talking about the customer service. It's not talking about the store, the seller. It's talking about the product. So this review was left in the wrong place. And so when that does happen, that is good because if that would have been left on the actual customer review or the product review, I mean, it would be very difficult to get that deleted because that's just an honest review of the product. But if it's on the store, what you're going to do is you're going to email seller-performance at amazon.com. And what you're going to do is come up with a little email script and you're basically going to say, hey, I had a customer leave feedback on my store. Instead of the product review, can you take a look at it and get it deleted? And then you include the details of the order ID number so you find that in your seller account. Then you provide the ASIN number and then you provide the name of the reviewer, the date of the review, and then you provide the direct link to the review. So right here, I just copy and paste this and I'd post it um, I'd put that in the email and then you say warmest regards or thank you or cheers and then your name. You send that to the seller-performance at amazon.com and within 20 minutes at least from my experience I literally just did this and that's the reason why I'm making this video is because it worked for me and I want to give you guys the same value. and they literally did it within 20 minutes and so it might take longer I don't know maybe it was just a fluky thing that they did it so quick but if it's talking about the product and they leave it 
on your feedback of your store, that can get deleted immediately. So another example of reviews that can get deleted is if you are selling via FBA, so if you have Prime Shipping and Amazon is doing the fulfillment, then reviews like this you can get deleted as well. So it says waiting for months for order that hasn't arrived. So if you were selling via FBA and Amazon was responsible for shipping this order to the customer and it didn't arrive, that's Amazon's fault and Amazon recognizes that and they will let you get that deleted, but you need to let them know. So again, you're going to send them an email saying, hey, someone left a negative uh, review about your customer service, yours, not mine. It wasn't my problem because you guys are doing the fulfillment. So you say they left a negative review about the fulfillment. It didn't arrive. Can you get that, uh, um, that comment deleted because it wasn't my fault? And if you say something along those lines, they will get that comment deleted. So if you are Bruce AC Fun and you are selling via FBA, get that thing deleted and get your, um, your storefront to 100% positive feedback. So that's another example of a way to get it deleted. So if they left the, so there's two ways. If the shipping was bad and you're doing fulfillment by Amazon, then obviously Amazon is responsible for that negative review, not you. Um, and then if they left the review on the product, but they left it on your store feedback, then you can get that deleted as well. So please go through, clean up your account because once you get um, I can't remember exactly, but if you have a lot of bad reviews and your feedback is all negative, then your seller account is going to get shut down. Amazon wants the top-notch quality sellers, and if you are providing bad customer service, if the products aren't good and everything is just a disaster, then Amazon doesn't want you selling. So that's why you want to make sure that all of these things are in a line and that your feedback is 100%. So go implement this little technique, email seller-performance at amazon.com if you have um, negative feedbacks. So here's another example, it didn't turn out the way I expected it to be, that's talking about the product. So get those things deleted and do everything that you can to have positive feedback because if you have good feedback and it's 100% then people are going to trust you and you have the credibility and if you have the credibility more people are going to buy from you which is going to lead to more sales. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below if you enjoyed it, if it worked for you. I want to hear your feedback so give me feedback. I won't delete the comment um, but give me your guys' honest opinion if you liked it and then subscribe as well. Subscribing helps me know that you guys enjoyed it, that you want to see more content like it. So please subscribe, like this video, comment, and without talking anymore, I will see you guys in the next video. So have a good one.